All too often I see people that are sacrificing every element of their life for triathlon and it's not healthy. So I just thought I'd give you some suggestions on how you can fit triathlon into your life. The first thing to say is juggling those balls, fitting it all in is part of the challenge. If it ever becomes a really negative stress, where you resent the fact that you're doing triathlon or you have to do certain sessions, then it's not for you. And that's fine. It's not for you. It should always be a good, it should always be a good stress. So of course there are going to be days, maybe even weeks, where you just think, I hate this sport and I'm going to give it up. But generally it should be, it should be, it should be good stress. Um, so a realistic plan, of course, fits around you, your lifestyles. Um, you, look at your, you look at your weekly timetable and you pick out slots that are always available. So you might know that on a Monday morning, your partner or your wife takes the kids to work. And so Monday morning, or Tuesday morning, you can do a session. Or you might know that on Thursday, you get a lunch hour of X amount. Those slots are always available. So your priority sessions go in those slots. The other ones are non-essential and you can leave them, but you've got to make sure you identify where the always available slots are and then prioritise your sessions and make sure at least you do those. In our sport, there is such an obsession with volume. Everyone asks me, how many k's do you do a week? How many miles do you do a week? How many hours do you do a week? I don't give a damn. It doesn't matter to me. Ask me how hard I work. Then I can tell you. People think they've done 35 hours a week, therefore that equals success. It doesn't. Quality trumps quantity every single time. You're often much better doing a 45-minute turbo session than you are a four-hour session on the road. Yeah, you might not have bragging rights because you've only done 45 minutes, but you've got maximum amount of benefit. So if you're time poor, choose your bang-for-buck sessions. They're the ones that will make the difference. Obviously, limit on your FAF, multitasking, this goes without saying. Um, incorporate strength and conditioning into your daily lives. You know, you could be doing butt clenches while you're sitting here. You know, you can do single leg squats while you're washing up um, or brushing your teeth, things like that. But if you, if you are time poor, then make use of, you know, don't sit down on the tube, but try and, ba I mean, I try and balance on, while I'm standing on the tube just to, Given myself that strength and conditioning you might not be able to do because you haven't got, you know, 30 minutes to allocate to it. Um, importantly, share the experience with your family and friends. Triathlon does sometimes or often take you away from family and friends. So involve them in it. Involve them in the races. Involve them in the training. I mean, most of you have known, known Crowy, Craig Alexander. His family always come along on his long runs. The kids cycle with him and they set up aid stations and he does little laps. So they feel like they're part of his training. And that's really, really important because um, it's as much a family endeavour as it is an individual endeavour. But lastly, and I really want to emphasise this, people beat themselves up, me included, about what they haven't been able to do. Like, you might be shitting yourselves right now because you've missed a session tonight to come and listen to me waffle on. It's the reality. You know, there will be times where you're in work late. There will be times when your kids get sick. There will be times when you wake up and you really don't feel like training. Accept it as your reality and move on. Don't beat yourself up about it. You've just got to do the best in the context of your life. Rest is part of training. Every amateur athlete that is juggling Training with a full-time job should have a rest day once every seven to ten days. Absolutely. The pros don't, because guess what? We train four, five hours a day. We have 18 or 19 hours to rest a day. You guys don't. So you guys are trying to train like the pros and work and do everything else. It's not possible. You have to have rest and you have to see rest as part and parcel of training and you have to have a longer off season. Mine was always six weeks at the end of after Kona. 